Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're going to feature three semi-auto 22 long rifle pistols. And we're going to start right here with the Taurus TX-22 competition. This was released in early 2021. They had the TX-22, which was great. I once had that. I foolishly sold it to a friend, but when they came out with this, just earlier this year, I was so happy to get my hands on it. It comes with three 16 round magazines, a five inch bull barrel that is threaded, an aluminum slide that is skeletonized. It is optic ready. The mount is based on the barrel hood, which is very interesting, set to fit nine different red dots. What I have here is a Vortex Venom, I love this red dot. Works perfectly on the TX-22 competition. Same grip as the original TX-22. Nice texturing on there, great ergonomic feel. Adjustable rear sights, pinned in front dot, both are metal. MSRP right around 485. It has a single action trigger that is striker fired. The pistol is striker fired with the reset right there cool handgun very happy to have it and i think taurus did a very nice job to put a mount on a barrel hood is something i have not seen before but they did it and it's very cool and it, it sits real tight on there as well let's go ahead and take a few shots it does have an ambidextrous thumb safety as well And there we go, love that trigger. Another thing that I think is super cool with this handgun is the disassemble. You go ahead and pull the trigger. It has these takedown levers here. You just pull the slide back a little bit and just like that, off comes the slide from the frame. And then to reassemble, well, you can see it's got a captured recoil spring in there, all steel guide rod. And you get it back into this position and then just pull back on it for reassemble. Taurus wasn't the first group to come out with that, but I think it is cool. You know, it's, it's a little bit different and everything about this pistol is a little bit different given that it has a skeletonized uh, aluminum slide with the mount on the barrel hood for the red dot. Very cool, very innovative, and I really do enjoy this quite a bit. Here we've got a Caltech P17. Very interesting design as well. Pretty innovative. It does come with three 16 round magazines. It has a single action trigger that I'm measuring right at three and a quarter pounds. And it is a cocked hammer design. And in that cocked hammer design, it does have a hammer fire indicator. So that'll show if the hammer has been cocked. 3.8 inch threaded barrel, and it also comes with an adapter, adjustable rear sights, fiber optic front sight. It does have a rail there, ambidextrous thumb safety. All right, and a standard kel grip. I wasn't sure if I would like this pistol. It has machine screws all throughout both sides. Very light, I think I mentioned 15 ounces loaded with 16 rounds. And I was like, I don't know, you know, is it gonna be a, a cool gun? But then I took it out to the range and I really enjoyed it. And I ran a bunch of 22 through it and it performed very well. Let's go ahead and take a few shots here. And it has been extremely accurate, reliable, fed a bunch of different types of ammo through it. It has a top plate there that makes it seem like it's optic ready. It actually is not. That's just a, a polymer cover to hold everything in place. But there it is. Caltech P17. All ambi, 16 round mags, low cost MSRP. And at least with my experience, it has been getting the job done and I've actually enjoyed it. Here we have the Ruger LCP2 light rack, chambered in 22. Now it has the same size and dimensions pretty much as 
the LCP 2 and 380, except this has 10 round magazines in 22. And it's a light rack, a very light spring weight right there. And I think a lot of people will like that. 2.75 inch barrel does have an integrated barrel bushing in there. Forward serrations, easy to operate. It also has a magazine disconnect, so it will not work without the magazine inserted. It also has a push forward thumb safety. Push forward and you'll see it's red right there. It's a hammer fired gun with milled in sights with the slide. Nice little package here that Ruger has. The MSRP used to be 349, now it's 409 because so many manufacturers are raising their prices on these. But I will say, they give you a pocket holster. This is a pocket gun for the most part. And it's a pretty cool pocket gun with 10 rounds under 12 ounces loaded. Also has those cocking ears right there. A little metal milled out there to give a nice grip on the slide when charging. Let's take some shots here. And there you go, 10 rounds. Lightweight, 10 rounds, push forward thumb safety, hammer fired LCP2. A lot of people took notice when this came out and pocket carries, uh, pocket carry people will certainly dig it. I think it's pretty cool. I think Ruger did a nice job. They have been cranking out the guns in 2021. This one was a little early on, released right around the same time the Ruger 5.7 was, and a lot of people liked it, and I fell into that category. So there it is, the Taurus TX-22 competition that's optic ready with the five inch barrel. Here we have the kel P17, very lightweight, inexpensive, pistol and the Ruger LCP2 and 22 long rifle only 12 ounces loaded with 11 rounds let me know which of these you prefer the most which 22 long rifle pistol that you have and we'll get the conversation started if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe